Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. So we got another really cool video for you guys. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this is uh, basically a project of mine that I've been wanting to do for a while and I just haven't got around to it. So I have a Verizon um, MiFi 4G LTE USB modem that I want to click into a um, GL Link mini router. Now, these GeoLink mini routers are pretty cool. As you can see, it won the CES uh, Innovation Award of 2019. Um, so I just want to see if I can turn this into a mobile router because it has the functionality. So there's a USB port on the Slate router itself. This MiFi version, the USB 620, apparently works on this. So basically, you'll be getting cell service from the Verizon, and it'll give internet to uh, the router so you can make this portable. So let's get this thing unboxed. And both of them unboxed and we're gonna actually test it set everything up I'm gonna go really slow and we're gonna see if we can get this thing to work now the uh, Verizon 4G uh, USB modem I went ahead and bought that on Amazon and let me check here the exact price for you that was uh, $79 and the slate router was $69 and I already have a couple of these slate routers laying around. Um, they work really well. I'll show you the user interface in a little bit. So I'm just showing you here the Verizon 4G MiFi. Um, this is my first um, USB modem from Verizon, so I'm going to be testing that out. I know it's not as fast as the other one I have, but um, this one should still get the job done. All right, so now I'm just going to unbox the GL Link slate router I really love this thing I can't speak um, enough about this thing and you guys are gonna know why in a minute so basically let's get this thing opened up it just gives you all the the functionality that you would get in a regular router uh, maybe even more um, with the price point and this thing is mobile it's handheld you can take it anywhere airports I'm actually going to be attaching mine to some printers for my company that I run, and um, my customers will be able to print to it along with um, the internet as well. So I'm just showing you the little setup card. Pretty much you just plug in the power on this thing, connect to the um, uh, GL wireless network name, go to the appropriate IP address, and then just set the thing up. And the lights are on the front there. you got 2 gigahertz, 5 the WAN port, the LAN, the USB port, and the power port. Power port. Um, just showing you how to reset it. Just wait until you get a look at this thing. It's just so compact, small. It's got two antennas on it. I have probably five of these already. I've had no problems with them. And they require very little um, amount of power. You don't even need the power brick. You can just plug into um, just any USB port to power this thing, which is great. All right, so there's the USB port, the WAN port, and then the two uh, LAN ports. And look how small that that thing is. And low power, um, it, it's amazing. Actually, my printer can power it. Uh, the printer that I use has a USB port on it, so I don't even need the power brick. But um, my only qualm about the thing is that it doesn't um, have USB-C, but maybe with the newer model they will. You also get an Ethernet cable and then the power brick. Alright, now that we got everything on box, let's get this thing set up. So the first thing you want to do uh, right out of the box is you, you need to update the firmware on the uh, the GL net. So and we're just going to set the MiFi here. So you'll see the MiFi is going to connect right into the USB port here. And in theory, um, it should just work perfectly fine, but we'll test that later. Okay, so now we're going to get this thing set up. We're just going to go ahead and start to plug in the cables. Let's get the USB in. And then um, you're going to want to um, connect an Ethernet cable 
um, to your router that does have uh, internet connection. So you'll see later. Right now I'm just plugging in um, the cord just to show you where it goes. But uh, in a minute I will plug into a live wire that's connected to my router which has uh, connection to the internet so that I'll be able to um, download the firmware and then install it. Okay, so I used a different cable up top, just I needed a longer cable, and uh, you can see the power light's already on. And then after about two to three minutes, you'll see the 2G and the 5G lights come on as well. There's the 2G, and then there's the 5G. Alright, so I'm going to disconnect this Ethernet cable because it wasn't connected to anything. I needed a longer one anyways. But this purple one here is connected directly to my router. And this will allow me to update the software. All right, now that all three lights are on, what we're going to do is just connect to the Wi Fi, uh, the GLAR75OS. And after you do that, you put in the password which is good life all lowercase which you will change later and then you just type in the IP address 192.168.8.1 and you'll be able to get in alright so now I'm back over at my computer so what we're gonna do now is first just go to that wireless network so I'm gonna get off the network I'm connected to find the G, uh, GLAR and you can connect to the regular or the 5G password is good life and then after you're connected just pull up a browser and type in the IP address 192.168.8.1 alright and once that pops up you're prompted for your language and then you're going to be prompted for an admin password. So I'm just going to enter an easy one just for the sake of the video, but make sure you have a um, really strong password for your admin password. Okay, and just like that, uh, here's the UI for the device, which I really like. It's Everything is really uh, easy to understand simple but has uh, multiple options so you can see there's 3G 4G modem tethering we're actually going to be using the tethering feature even though I, it is a 3G 4G modem under wireless uh, this is where you can change the name of your wireless router and the password you would just click on modify and please change your password and the network name and then you see you have the same settings for the 5G that's just the client that I have connected and what we're going to do is click on upgrade and then you see there's an available update so you must do this you do want to download the latest um, software alright once it's completed now you need to install so make sure you don't forget to hit the install button and this can take uh, I think it took me about five minutes or so after it's done the router will disconnect alright router connection lost which is good everything's good we're installed properly so what we're gonna do is wanna go back and reconnect to the network and if it doesn't show up just give it some time it'll pop back up as you can see here mine didn't pop up right away and I did see this one here the 5G popped up so you can connect to either or same thing just type in the good life password and then you're gonna go back to the 192.168.8.1 perfect into your admin password again Okay, now we're back at the uh, the main splash page here, 
and um, everything has been updated all right so everything's looking pretty good now that everything's updated now we need to connect a 3g 4g modem um, to the router so let me go ahead and stop this video and we're gonna switch over So this thing is uh, plug and play. I'll leave you the model. Uh, in the manual, this was the only model that worked as tethering. So you don't have to do any 3G, 4G setup. You just plug in, hit connect, and it works. Now, I did not remove the purple cable as I should right away because it still gave it internet access. But I did remove it uh, later just to show you guys. And it worked perfectly fine without the cable in. Okay, now that the USB device is in, it had a red light at first, and it's going to start blinking green. And after you leave it in there for a couple minutes, you can just go back over um, to your computer. And I'm just showing you here that the, the light's blinking green. Anyways, all right, so I'm back on my computer. Go back to the router. Make sure you're connected. And you're not going to have to go to 3G, 4G modem. Do not worry about that on this um, device. On this device, you just go under tethering. And then you would just hit the connect button, and it would start to connect. Um, it's showing me my IP address of the cable that I have uh, connected. But like I said, you definitely want to have that cable disconnected. All right, so I went ahead and hit the connect button. And it's actually cool. It says no cable de uh, detected in WAN. So it actually disabled the cable when you're connecting to the tethering, which is good. All right, and just like that, you can see I got an IP address, net, uh, uh, gateway, a DNS server address. So everything's looking pretty good. But the first thing we need to do is test it to make sure we're actually connected to the Internet. But you can see that the tethering is active, and it worked like a charm. And you can see it actually shows tethering um, lit up there. All right, so first thing we're going to do, let's just go to google.com and see if we can load. And we did. That's great. Now I'm going to go over to uh, speed test. And let's run a speed test here. All right, not bad uh, for a USB uh, modem. Not as good as my MiFi. I think I got uh, better speeds on my 5G MiFi, but that's to be expected. This is just a USB tethering device, and 13 is plenty enough for the internet. Alright, we're going to test the upload here. And not bad either. All right, so we got 12 uh, megabytes per second down, seven up, not bad at all. All right, so let's go ahead and close that down. All right, so we're just gonna finish up the video here. I'm just gonna go through a couple settings again, just to go through and show you guys what this thing does. You have the upgrade button, the firewall button, uh, VPN, open VPN is awesome. You can do the client server, wire guard, internet kill switch. You can even connect a Tor, which is awesome. Under applications, you got plugin, file sharing, remote access, captive portal, admin password, your LAN IP, time zone, and your MAC address clone. Under LAN IP, you can even set a reservation for the router at the very bottom. So guys, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching. This is how to set up tethering on a uh, Verizon USB device on a GL Link mini router. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.